Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the cryptocurrency market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, March 23rd, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our news videos, and you're welcome to follow us here on Ethereum, where you also can copy our trades. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at Bitcoin. As you can see, we have fallen quite a bit in the last few trading days, and uh, now we're trading right underneath the 20 exponential moving average. So whether or not the Chairman Powell's uh, comments about Bitcoin uh, made this fall, that is to be seen, but they were fairly negative about the cryptocurrency market as a whole. Technical indicators for Bitcoin, they are very bearish at this current stage. So we could see this um, fall towards the 50 moving average. That will probably have a lot of interest if uh, many people will buy into this. That's roughly at 50k. A break above the 20 exponential, that opens the door to these previous highs here at the 58k and then probably to the very highs of uh, 62k. However, technical indicators on the daily chart are looking very bearish at this current stage. Both the MACD, Stochastic, CCI, RSI all are pointing to lower levels for Bitcoin. So let's look at Ethereum. So Ethereum is uh, even more uh, bearish than, than Bitcoin. Technical indicators are looking dreadful for this cryptocurrency. At the moment, we were trading at 1665. It looks like we're heading towards the lower uh, part of the Bullinger band, which is at 1535. Uh, there should be quite a lot of support in the around this area here. If you manage to take out the 50 moving average and the 20 expansion moving average that opens the door to these previous highs of uh, 1839 and then the top of the bullish band of 1934. So, the cryptocurrency market has turned around from these uh, from this push towards the highs, uh, but we have been in this same position several times before. We rallied here and then broke heavily below the 50 moving average, uh, but we continued to go drift higher. So let's look at Cardano. So Cardano as well, we made uh, basically a double top here and then we broke really, really hard uh, towards the 50 moving average. At the moment, we have this very uh, negative candlestick. So it would not be uh, strange if we went to, to and tested the 50 moving average at 0 0.98. Technical indicators, they are all very bearish for this cryptocurrency. And this has been an area in the past that has offered quite a lot of support. We see around here and also over here that buyers have come in to uh, buy Cardano at this, uh, at this point. So you have the 50, the bottom of the bullish band, and also this historical support um, in this area. So most likely we will bounce from this area. If we break below here, then that could open the door to much lower levels. We can look at the, for example, the Fibonacci retracements for this. This could basically get really ugly if this basically breaks. We could drop first to the 50 around 0 0.79 and then to 61.8. That is at 0 0.64 before going all the way down to the 200 moving average at 0 0.37. So let's look at Litecoin. So Litecoin also has had three really bad days. At the moment, we have this very negative candlestick here, which indicates that we'll most likely head towards the bottom of the bullish band at 171. Technical indicators have all turned around for uh, Litecoin, and at this current stage, momentum is to the downside. We have basically not been trading underneath the 50 moving average, uh, basically all over, uh, basically over here. So this was a push to, uh, towards the bottom of the bullish band and then rallied, but we didn't really trend underneath the 50 moving average. So this is basically the first time in a really long time that we are trending underneath the 50 moving average. So going lower here, the bottom of the bullish band around 170, that's going to offer quite a lot of support. Otherwise, you can see historically this area here at roughly 120, give or take, 117 and all the way up towards 130 that has offered quite a lot of support but also here down towards 150 that has also offered quite a lot of support a break above the 
50 and a 20, that could open the door to 121. So let's look at NEO. So NEO also rallied uh, last week. We went all the way up to 47 before breaking really hard towards the middle of the bullish band. And now we're trading right about the middle of the bullish band. So 40. Uh, point 91 is where we're trading at this current stage. Technically, they are all bearish at this point. MACD just crossed the signal line, indicating bearish momentum. So a break below the middle of the Bullinger Band opens the door to the 50 to 37 dollars. Uh, bounce from here, that will find resistance at 44 dollars. So let's look at Dash. So Dash. Uh, also, in the last three days has been uh, horrible for this uh, cryptocurrency. Technical indicators are looking dreadful. We are trading underneath the 50, approaching the bottom of the bullish band at 196. And if we, for example, look at the Fibonacci retracements for this cryptocurrency, we can see that we have broken the first was here at the 30, uh, 38.2. Now we are underneath the 50 and that usually guarantees that we are going towards the 61.8 and that is at 179. A break below that opens the door all the way down to the 200 and 116. If we manage to rally from here, then we need to break above the 20 exponential. That will open the door to around 250. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over here at Etro. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.